social worker put her up for a mass. According to the report, preyed on a 13 year old child. The social worker has been identified as Peyton Charez. She allegedly engaged in sexual relationships with a child, okay? Uh, in Columbus, Ohio, the child was 13. Her social worker license was issued this past June. Keep a picture up. I want to remind everyone of what we talk about on Indisputable as it relates to stories like this. Individuals who will engage in this kind of violation typically try to affix themselves into a position of trust in order to engage in this kind of violation. Columbus Division of Police SWAT team. They took her into custody on Friday. Charez was charged with having unlawful sexual conduct with a minor, third degree felony. However, police said that additional charges would likely be added. According to the Franklin County Court records, the teen's mother called the police on September 27th after finding text messages between her son and the social worker. In the messages, the social worker allegedly posed a question to the team if he had, quote, deleted the videos, end quote. And if his mother had, quote, seen the videos or messages, end quote. The team's mother turned the phone over to the officers who responded to the call. The social worker reportedly admitted to having the encounter with the teen on a three-way call between her, the teen's mother, and detectives. So an admission is logged for the record. She appeared in court Saturday, had a bond set of $500,000. Wow. You know, monsters come in all shapes and sizes, right? All colors too. All genders. Um, there are some who are going to say, and Doc, they do this every time we do a story like this. Uh, that, well, you know, there's no issue. You know, he's a male, and 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 this is a nice looking female. No, this is a child, and that's an adult. The psychological trauma that this child will endure um, can't be determined in this very moment. I mean, the damage permeates over time. And Doc, I want you to speak to that um, because your profession studies these things over time. So you have this, uh, this context that we may not. Uh, so explain the danger and the adverse psychology connected to predators like her, uh, who, who allegedly has admitted to the crime, and what they do to individuals who are children um, under their watch or authority. Well, you know, it's really highlighting a, a blind spot, I feel like. I was thinking that when, when you were talking about the story, which is to say that we have a really developed method for catching male clinicians who are predators on female patients very often, sometimes male patients. Um, that came out of the 60s and 70s, this idea of a boundary violation. There are entire courses, professional Things. I mean, it comes out of this history of psychoanalysis, which talked about the erotics of clinical encounters. And so men, we just have a, we have a whole regulatory apparatus around, around men who, who prey on women, which is still, I would guarantee you a much, much bigger problem. Uh, when we see women who do this kind of thing, it's very sensational. We also see, for example, teachers who prey on students. Um, it often appears like this story in places like the New York Post. Um, and so what's the story we're telling? Is it that there's more female-driven sexual abuse than, than we realize? If that's true, we should get an assessment. Um, I would guarantee you that the trauma on the kids is pretty much going to be the same. This is sexual abuse, I agree with you, uh, regardless. But it does highlight, I think, really a, a blind spot, which is um, what about when the gender roles are reversed? It changes the power dynamic. I would bet that it's harder for our society to see uh, something like this because it doesn't play to the narrative that we've all been trained in, into seeing. Yep, and, and that becomes, uh, in a way, the societal limitation of the uh, real impact this may have 
on a young person because of our uh, restrictive understanding. We then project that on everyone else as if this is not a big deal. This is a huge deal. All right. This is evil to prey on a child. 